Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have been wanting to do a Q&A video for a little bit. I was just afraid that I wouldn't have enough questions or whatever, but I decided to go ahead and do one because I have some questions from Snapchat and um, Insta that I thought that I would share with you guys. But before we get started, if you have not already, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. It's down at the bottom of this video or down below near the comment section. Also give me a thumbs up and make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms because you don't want to miss out on any updates that I post for you guys. So let's just go ahead and jump into this video because I have some questions. I'm going to try to not ramble too long on each question, but here we go. Okay, my first question is from Allie, and she wants to know, would you ever live alone? Would I ever live alone? That's actually a really good question, because I don't know, honestly, if I would ever live alone. I mean, I've thought about it, like, in the past. I was, like, it's always been a thought that's kind of been on my mind, like, would I ever live alone if I got the chance? And I honestly... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I have like a direct yes or no. Like I feel like part of me wants to say yes, but then the other part of me wants to say no. Just because one, I would get really bored. Two, I would get lonely. And three, I'm just like, I'm not really a person that like likes to be alone, if that makes sense. Like I like to have company. I like to be around people. I'm a people person. I'm a social butterfly. So I'm just going to go ahead and say no. I mean, I... I don't know. That's that's a hard question, but I'm going to go with no. Would y'all ever live alone? Comment down below. If you see my hand here, my computer's here with my question, so if that's distracting, I apologize. Okay, Abby wants to know, when did your journey with God begin and why did you decide to start a YouTube channel? I think that's what she means by start. But, okay. So, my journey with God began, well, I mean, I grew up in church my whole life. Like, my family has always been super into church, always about going to church. So, I kind of grew up in church, but I would say that my journey, like, specifically, my journey with God began at a really young age. Like, I want to say, like, five or six years old. But, I mean, I grew up in church, like I said. But I want to say that my journey with God began probably around the age of, like, five or six. I don't know. I mean, I feel like that's right. But then again, I feel like that might not be right. I'm just going to say five or six. And why did you decide to start? I'm assuming she means a YouTube channel. And I think I got this question from someone else too. But I'll go ahead and answer it right now since it's the first one that popped up. I decided to start a YouTube channel because it's always been something that's been on my heart. It's always been something that I've prayed to God about and just kind of like a passion of mine, if you will. And the more that I sat and I watched YouTubers like talk about makeup and play with makeup and kind of like experiment with fashion and talk about fashion and all of that stuff, it just kind of like lit that fire inside of me to kind of just go for it. Just ignore all of the fears, ignore all of the negativity bump the haters like hate is gonna hate so I wasn't even gonna worry about all that and it just kind of made me just kind of want to just take that leap of faith and just go for it so I don't really know why I started I mean I started it because it's just been a dream of mine and it's always just been something that I wanted to do I always thought YouTube was just so awesome as a community just to get out there and to put yourself on the internet it can be intimidating and it can be really scary like I'm not gonna lie every week I'm just like why even bother uploading a video? Like, no one's going to watch this. Nobody's even subscribed to my channels. I don't have a URL yet. But I hear God telling me, I hear that still small voice in the back of my head saying, you can do this, friend. You've got this. Push through. There are no limits. Just go for it. So, that's why I decided to start. That's why I decided to start a YouTube channel. And I do not regret it at all. I absolutely love making videos. Okay, Ashlyn wants to know, how long have you been into makeup and what sparked your interest? She has two questions, but that's the first question. How long have I been into makeup? I have not been into makeup. I mean, I've always worn makeup, but as far as like been into makeup and like really evolved into loving makeup, I would say maybe a year, probably less, which explains why I'm not that great at it, honestly. But, um, I mean, I haven't, I haven't been into makeup for too, too long. Um, 
mainly, like I said, just kind of watching videos and watching, you know, Jaclyn Hill and Manny MUA and Jeffree Star and Nikki's tutorials and Jamie Page and all these people, uh, Kathleen Lights, all these people just do makeup and just fall in love with makeup and be so good at it. It just kind of like inspired me and motivate me to just kind of like try it. Like just go to Ulta, just go to Sephora, just go to Walgreens, a drugstore, whatever, just buy a bunch of makeup and just play with it because there's no rules as Nikki Tutorial says when it comes to makeup. So I would say maybe less than a year, if not less than a year, then like right out of a year. But I'm going to say less than a year. Ashlyn's next question is, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Oh my gosh, girl. You're making me think too hard. Um, okay, well, first of all, the mind-blowing concept of this question is that I will be 40 in 10 years. So there's the mind-blowing part of the question. Um, hopefully married with kids, with a job, not in Sulphur Springs. Like, no offense, I like Sulphur Springs, but it's not by any means where I want to stay permanently. Um, but for sure married with a kid, with a job, somewhere doing that. I honestly want to say with my own boutique of some sort because fashion is my passion and I've always loved clothes. I've always loved fashion. Ever since I can remember, I used to play dress up. I used to be in beauty pageants and I always would say like a couple years ago, I was always like, I want to have my own boutique one day. Like I want to have my own clothing line. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw that out there too. If I could have my own boutique in 10 years, that'd be pretty rad. I can't lie. Ashlyn also wants to know what is your favorite scent? Okay, so my favorite scent would probably be, okay, well, y'all know I already got that mahogany teakwood candle, but guys, I was burning that the other day, and it made my head hurt, so I'm a little confused about that. I don't know if, like, the smell was just so overpowering that I couldn't handle it or what, but I love that smell, and this is going to sound weird, but the smell of, like, bread baking and cookies baking gets me every time. Um, if you mean as far as like a Bath and Body Works scent, I love Sweet Pea. I've always liked Cucumber Melon. Girl, I cannot pick one, but those are a few of my favorites. Ashlyn also wants to know, what is your all-time favorite makeup product and why? Oh my gosh. Well, being as though, like I said earlier, I have not really been into makeup for too, too long. I want to say I'm a sucker for highlight. And I'm a sucker also for my Stila, Stila Glitter Metallic Metal Eyeshadows. So I want to say either highlight or my glitter shadows, for sure. Hands down. Okay, Ashlyn. She, girl, y'all, Ashlyn sent in the questions, guys. She's sending in some questions. Shout out to Ashlyn. If you could travel to anywhere in the world, where would it be? Okay, I'm going to give this a, I'm going to give it two parts. Inside the U.S., outside the U.S. For inside the U.S., I would say either Florida, Colorado, and for or Hawaii. Outside the U.S., I'm gonna say like Paris or Greece or um, London. I can't pick, but somewhere, anywhere those are though. For sure. I really like traveling. I hope one day that I can just be with someone that just loves to travel and we can just like travel the world. My cousin is major inspo because she's been so many places. Shout out Lisa if you're watching this. She's been to so, so many places. I'm not even going to begin to name places that she's been because she's been seriously like everywhere and it's so cool. But Greece has really moved up on my list lately just because I've seen so many pictures of it on Instagram and it literally takes my breath away. Like Greece is gorgeous. So any of those six that I listed take me there, but I have way more. I also want to go to Disney too, because y'all know I'm a Disney freak. All right, Allie wants to know, where do you see yourself in five years? Okay, well this kind of goes back to Ashlyn's 10 year thing. When five years, I'll be 35, hopefully married, hopefully with a kid, hopefully with my dream job. Allie also wants to know, who are your 10 closest friends? Oh my gosh, okay. If I leave you out, please don't get offended, but I'm going to say Whitney, Laura. Whitney is my college friend. We've been friends for like almost 12 years now. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Laura, childhood friend. Brittany, childhood friend. Trey, childhood friend. Misty, we met at church. Um, Lisa, my cousin I was just talking about. Uh, my pastor, Crystal. 
for sure. Um, my mom, she's like way up on the list though. And oh my gosh, two more. Um, Brittany from high school, Brittany LaPrairie. And this is horrible. I'm going to go and say Braley and Presley. That's 11. But they inspire me and they're nowhere near my age. So shout out to y'all. I love y'all. If I forgot you, I'm really sorry. Don't be mad at me. I'm sorry, guys. All right, Presley, speaking of, she wants to know, what is your favorite makeup brand? And also, why did you start a YouTube channel? I already answered that one. My favorite makeup brand? Oh my gosh, that's hard. Um, I'm going to say Morphe. If I had to pick like a high end, I would say Morphe. If I'm going to pick a drugstore, I would probably say Physician's Formula. But I could be missing. I don't know, Wet n Wild's really good too. I don't know, I can't pick. All right, Presley also wants to know who inspired you the most about making a YouTube channel. I already kind of touched base with that. Jacqueline Hill, Nikki Tutorials, all of the makeup gurus on there for sure. Also, how has God helped you on your journey with this channel? Oh my gosh. Guys, she's 11 years old. She's 11 years old and she asked me this. Um, I would say that God has inspired me with my YouTube channel just because, like I said, it's something I've always prayed about, something I've always wanted to do, and I feel like God has just been there with me throughout the whole journey just telling me to do it when I feel like giving up. He's there whispering in my ear telling me that I can do it and to get thicker skin because not everybody's going to like your videos, not everybody's going to like the way you do your makeup, but you do you and you will overcome. All right, Megan wants to know, can you explain what makeup is best for different skin undertones? Honestly, I don't think I can. I know it's based on like the color wheel. I, I believe like if you're red, then you need to put green as a color corrector. Um, you need to put like yellow underneath your eyes to brighten your eyes. So like get like a yellow like banana powder or a yellow undertone and just put it underneath your eyes and it should lighten up your eyes. As far as that, I really don't know. I don't want to lead you astray, girl. Go Google it. <laughs> Braley wants to know what inspired you to do YouTube. I already answered that. Presley wants to know what is your favorite lipstick that you use? My favorite lipstick, hands down, well, I have two. My red lipstick by CoverGirl and then my Coral Melon by Melted. It's Too Faced, Mel Too Faced Melted Melon and then my red lipstick by CoverGirl. Those are my two favorites. Braylee also wants to know, what's your goal in your YouTube career and just in life? Love you. Love you, B. Um, my goal in my YouTube career and just in life. That's a great goal. My goal in life is to be successful with a boutique. My goal for YouTube is to... Oh my gosh. If Could you imagine like if I got a makeup deal out of it? That would be like major goals. So I would say those two things. Alright, well that concludes all of my questions. I feel like this video was really fun. I definitely want to do one in the future again. So I will keep you guys posted on when that may be. Um, like I said, make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. And I will see you guys next time. I love y'all. To Pluto and back.